So let me start uh, with uh, Professor uh, Georgi uh, for his uh, blessings and his words for the audience here. Then uh, uh, he may introduce his uh, uh, India May Catheter, the need and uh, scope for modifications, etc. And from there, we'll go on to panelists' views on uh, uh, their impressions and views. Sir? Yeah. Georgi, sir. Yeah, uh, Dr. Balasubramaniam, who is a colleague of mine, he said that he lives in a village, but most of the things start in a village and then reach the cities. I really admire and salute Adil and Shole for their courage and their conviction and what they have done. They are real, real superstar. How often have you wondered about your life's purpose? Your life's purpose is your superpower. So the two, Adil and Vishal and Balasubramaniam, are people who do what they love, who do what they are good at, and they do what the world needs, and they do what can be rewarded for. So I just want to tell you that uh, these two young nephrologists, and Bala is not young anymore, I think he is in the middle age, have done extremely well in terms of education, imparting education on interventional nephrology across the country and also in other parts of the world. So I will just start my, forgive me for a minute. Yes, sir. So I'm, I have about five slides and I won't take it longer. Yeah, Bala has already alluded to my patients, my God, journey of a kidney doctor. In that, in page number 35, next slide. Yeah. I learned bedside implantation of the catheter on the second day of my... On the second day of my joining at the Toronto Western Hospital from Joanne Barkman, who was younger to me, but was my staff. And she took me to the ICU. And we had only trocar and cannula at that time, and uh, the tank of catheter. And we also had access to Dimitrios Oriopoulos, Oriopoulos Sellerman catheter. And it was, I still remember, a 42-year-old uh, Pakistani Canadian who had severe cardiac failure and required dialysis. And Jovan was helping me in implanting the catheter and most of the things I have done. Why I brought this forward is that we have to teach our own colleagues, junior colleagues, same age and senior colleagues, how to implant a catheter and interventional nephrology should be taught to everybody so that people like Adi and uh, uh, Goshal, they have what they have done is uh, admirable and this should be taught to everybody. So, my expertise to teach fellows who came to us for training from India, other South Asian countries, Middle East and Africa. The, we have the home peritoneal dialysis unit nurses who are Canadians with their roots in China, Korea, Taiwan, Hong Kong, Peru, Canada, India, and Philippines. And uh, the next slide. Dr. Raymond Matthews, I still remember, he was a surgeon an unassuming great surgeon was always available for surgical peritoneal dialysis catheter implantation and removal at Toronto Western Hospital at that time. I'm lucky that I have a colleague, Dr. Nagarajan, a greatly committed, competent surgeon, does the same chores with me at uh, the Madras Medical Mission and now at MGM Hospital, fully supporting my home peritoneal dialysis program currently. The reason why I have a surgeon is sometimes we all know that when nephrologists implant a catheter, there could be sometimes problems with omental trapping or other uh, problems related to inflow and outflow. So always a surgical colleague who knows about catheter, who is there to help you, will be an added value. So these are the commonly used peritoneal catheters. And when you look at that, uh, you have uh, the ear, the straight tank of catheter, and uh, then the coil catheter, and then you have the, the swan neck double cuff catheter. This is the swan neck. 
I have been implanting catheter from 1986 onwards. And when you do the procedure, the, when you flex or bend a catheter which is straight, the memory of the catheter is still there in the catheter and it will go according to the memory. And I had many instances of catheter migration. And then we had to re reposition the catheter or replace the catheter. So I am biased, usually swan neck catheter and double cuff swan neck catheter as it is shown here. And you have you can also have a swan neck pre-sternal and with the double cuff swan neck catheter, I will tell you what are the advantages. In Toronto, we were also using the Dimitrio, sorry, Toronto Western Hospital catheter with single cuff with a flange and a bead. This is the cuff with a flange. This is the flange and a bead there, which is in the peritoneum, situated in the peritoneum. And uh, you can have either single cuff or double cuff Toronto Western Hospital catheter. Now, Swanek, Georgia, and Satish Parman BD catheter. After returning from Canada, it was my desire and dream to manufacture a cheap catheter for South Asian countries and other developing countries. So, along with my students, Satish is one of my medical students and other students who are doctors, and one or two business people, we established Madras Medical Devices, a small establishment in Coimbatore. And there we started making the catheter. This is the swan neck catheter. You can see the swan neck configuration. So it will not move out of the pelvis unless you have an omental trap or you have something else constipated, uh, con constant um, or chronic constipation. So the tip of the catheter, I use it in the pelvis. And this is the distal cup. And this is the proximal cup. Or we, whichever way you can, this is the proximal cup. This is a discal cup. It sits on the rectus abdominis muscle. And uh, always two more things, you know, which I wanted to add to my colleagues' comments are, one is always the exit site should be at a place where the patient can see it, the exit site. Because some patients do the exit site care by themselves most of the time, and they should be able to visualize the exit site by themselves. The other thing is that uh, when you have a catheter put in, you also need to have an antibiotic given. Uh, vancomycin is the preferred one gram IV. And also the patient should have a good soap and water enema to prevent the, 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 the feces in the colon from obstructing the catheter. So always make sure that when you have implanted a catheter, make sure that the inflow and outflow are good and there is no blood. If there is blood, you have to flush in and out until the blood is, the fluid is clear. And in those patients, in ICU, you may be forced to put a catheter when they are on aspirin and clopidogrel, and this can give rise to a heart. <clears throat> Number of instances, you had bleeding in the subcutaneous tissue, and uh, sometimes, you know, it can lead to secondary infection and uh, you have problems leading to even to catheter removal. So always make sure that you immobilize the catheter, and after implantation, there should not be any tug or torque on the catheter to prevent the erosion and early exercise infection. And uh, the next one is, we also made a peel away sheet. And this peel away sheet, you can see that the peel away is here, the guide wire is here, and the syringe is there with the needle. And the only thing missing is a scalpel blade and a needle. So we have a swan neck, Georgie and Sadish permanent bleeding catheter. It can be made to any tailor to any size you want. We need 48 hours of um, uh, order so that whatever the length, length you want, how many cups you want, only single cup, double cup, or three cup, or you want a pre sternal catheter, we can make a tailor it according to your needs. And also pediatric catheters. So the peel away sheet is here. This costs half of what you are paying now. The MRP is 5,400 or 5,500. We have uh, a little bit of glitch at this point. Our license expired, so we have uh, reapplied for the license. So it will take a month or so for the license to restart production of the catheter. And this is also a peel away sheet. We have put in things together. And you can either have the catheter or both peel away sheet and the catheter. And every nephrologist should learn how to use a peel away sheet as um, uh, as uh, our colleague has already alluded to. So this is the most important part of my career, Madras Medical Devices donates PD catheter to saving lives program in Africa. 
during the World Congress of Nephrology, 100 cuffed uh, uh, tank of uh, no, swan neck catheters were donated to the Saving Young Lives program in Africa. Half of these were custom-made patient pediatric dialysis catheters, and they were used at the clinical skills training program that took place at the Red Cross Hospital in Cape Town just before the Congress. And the nephrologists from across Africa really appreciated the general uh, It is available in Swadhi, whatever you want. Custom manufacturing to required length and cuff numbers made in India using latest indigenous technique are made from silastic tube, which is radio opaque and platinum cured, affordable and safe and efficacy. And this is the address for that. And this is how the catheter is packed. And uh, these are the connections for the catheter. This is the intraperitoneal portion of the catheter. This is the dacron cuff. This is the outer cuff. This is the extraperitoneal portion of the catheter. So I just want to tell you that uh, the PMJAY program has given us all an opportunity to serve our patients with peritoneal dialysis. So I am sure that my colleagues, senior colleagues, younger colleagues, as well as my Bala and other people, uh, they have an intense uh, desire to propagate peritoneal dialysis as a treatment modality. And uh, I'm sure that uh, Adil, I, I really salute you and also Gaushal for your extreme hard work and your commitment to save lives. Thank you.